Hello, in this video I'm going to showcase the latest version of um, Predator um, that I was working on for the last week. So let's start. So as you can see, this is our um, new welcome screen. It's not basically a welcome screen, it's just two splits that you can switch between and you can open any files you want. So I have some notes for this video, so let me show you. Um, open that. and okay so let's start so let me go in here and let's go into um, the project itself and now I can show you the grep buffers basically um, the usage of the rip grep inside this program so if I press all tests this is of course changeable and if I start typing error you can see I get the result of um, running rip grep in the correct directory and seeing all the results. There is a bug that um, it does not jump to the cursor position, but I will fix this. It's just one line fix. Um, there are multiple features um, other than grep that I'm going to show you. So, for example, we can show the multi cursors. So multi cursors, as you can, as you know, is a modern feature, and we have them implemented in here. So you can have multi cursors, and they're not um, like an extension or something like Emacs. They are built in and they're native, and they're based there. They are the <coughs> default way we handle all um, cursors. We can also do putting cursor on all matches and it will also work and you can move the cursors of course around so we can move them around, we can move them up and down um, so we, we also have multiple windows you can close one if you want, so for example I can close this window and I can create another one again I can open up the project or actually uh, let me just switch to the buffer I, would, I was. So also the code base itself has changed out. So you see there's, there's a bug when I click here. It doesn't switch the window. I need to add, um, I need to fix this. This is not basically a bug. It's actually something that I didn't implement. So the click events are not handling, handled by the program itself. They are just handled by the buffer, but I need to have a handler before I'm passing them to the buffer. Um, I have a more framework or platform approach because I want to, I, I have a goal for this project to become the base for anyone who wants to create his or her own editor. So I'm going to create the bare minimum and on top of that, anyone can create a new editor out of this. And I actually want to show you this approach by showing you the actual uh, main file of this editor which is this file and as you can see um, you can create the editor you create a or you can do whatever you want and then you start the main loop so the idea of this is that people can do any customizations in here any um, key changes any hooks they want and they start the main loop so the extensibility model and the customization model of this editor is not um, some scripting language or anything. The editor itself is just a simple Go module that you import here and you can start and you can do any customization you want. We also have added um, the... I didn't want this to be here. We also added... Um, if I can open this file and let's go back to the I would wear. So we also added undo feature for this editor where you can do undo all your changes. We also added the zoom feature so you can increase and decrease your font size with both mouse and um, the keyboard itself. And we also have uh, the fuzzy file finder. It still needs work but I think that bare minimum functionality is okay
and um, we have some global key map now which you can add anything and it will work everywhere in all buffers in our buffer types and we also refactor the search code which previously used regex but now it's a simpler version that just matches the exact one exact characters and it's also much faster and has a better UI so as you can see you can see the search above and you can jump around as you would in the previous video um, yeah that is pretty much it that is pretty much what I wanted to show you for this video so we made a lot of progress in this version and the next version will probably mostly um, focus on stabilizing, fixing bugs, and fixing rough edges of these features that we added. And the uh, I think the final thing that I probably work on it will be the LSP claim. But before that, I'm gonna do a lot of refactors, especially on the things that we copy and, pa and paste. So, for example, we copy and paste the code for the um, search and for the go-to's so for example if I do control G in here and Oh, it actually does not work because I just commented out But if I do search and as you can see the code for the search thing has been uh, copied Multiple times I think for go-to's and, and some other stuff and I want to make them and refactor them into a single core um, we also actually did the same thing with the opening the file. So this dialog in here, this thing that opens up has a text box in here and has a list that gets updated every time, is actually a component of the system. It's the list component. And the list component is used in many places, like in the filter buffers. Um, As you can see, we have um, the interactive filter buffer, and then based on this and this idea and this implementation, um, we have the buffer switcher, we have the grip location item, we have the fuzzy file finder, and we have file picker, which you have seen. So these are all implementations, or not implementations, but usages of this um, buffer type called the interactive filter buffer. So that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching and also please try this out. I really like this project and I th it's a project that I, I have been waiting to make for such a long time. So thanks for watching and goodbye.